As the Arctic permafrost melts, something astonishing is happening beneath our feet. Not just bones, not just fossils, but entire creatures, frozen in time. Muscles are still firm, fur still intact, even blood still liquid. These aren't remnants of a forgotten past. They're perfectly preserved messengers from a prehistoric world, thawing out after tens of thousands of years. What if I told you that some of them might not stay extinct? From ancient beasts the size of trucks to microscopic survivors defying biology itself, here are five strange prehistoric creatures pulled straight from the ice, each one more shocking than the last. Let's step into the cold. In 2016, deep in the frigid lands of Siberia's Yana River lowlands, a team of scientists stumbled upon something extraordinary, the frozen corpse of a steppe bison, lying in the earth like it had only just died yesterday. But this creature wasn't recent. It was over 36,000 years old. Unlike typical fossilized remains, this bison wasn't just a pile of bones. Its skin was leathery and intact. Its organs, the heart, stomach, even blood vessels, were still in place. The muscles still had definition. And incredibly, the internal tissues were so well preserved that scientists could study their anatomy in near complete detail. For researchers, it was a biological time capsule, an unspoiled glimpse into the Ice Age. It helped them understand how these massive herbivores endured the unforgiving tundra and what led to their eventual disappearance. But this discovery also sparked something more controversial. Whispers of de-extinction. Could DNA be harvested from such a well-preserved creature? Could it be cloned? Or its genes spliced into modern relatives to bring the steppe bison back? The lines between science fiction and science fact were beginning to blur. And this was just the beginning. The ice was thawing and it had more secrets to share. Imagine stumbling upon the body of a tiny, fragile baby horse, a foal no older than two weeks, perfectly preserved in ice for over 42,000 years. That's exactly what happened in Siberia in 2018. This wasn't just any fossil, it was a mummified miracle. Every detail remained intact, from the soft hairs on its mane and tail to the delicate hooves it never fully learned to walk on. But the most astonishing part Scientists discovered that inside this foal's veins was liquid blood. Yes, blood that had somehow escaped the usual fate of drying up or turning to powder over millennia. This was unheard of. The foal belonged to an extinct species called the Lena horse, a hardy breed adapted to the harsh Ice Age steppe. This species was quite different from modern horses, smaller and tougher, capable of surviving the brutal Siberian winters that would have frozen most animals solid. The cause of death was heartbreaking. The little foal had likely drowned in mud, only to be instantly trapped and frozen by the rapidly dropping temperatures. Nature had sealed its tiny body in a time capsule, preserving secrets locked inside for tens of thousands of years. Researchers have even attempted to grow living cells from its tissues, dreaming of one day cloning this ancient horse or reviving it through cutting-edge science. While those efforts remain a challenge, the foal gives us an unprecedented window into the past. Its blood, organs, and fur tell a story far richer than bones ever could. It's a reminder that sometimes ice isn't just cold, it's a gateway to resurrection. In 2020, deep in the Siberian tundra, scientists uncovered this extraordinary little predator, a rare glimpse into a world lost long ago. The tiny body of a saber-toothed cat kitten, only about three weeks old, was frozen in Arctic ice for around 36,000 years. This kitten wasn't just any big cat. It belonged to a mysterious species called Homotherium, often known as the scimitar-toothed cat. Unlike the famous Smilodon, the classic saber tooth, Homotherium had shorter, serrated canine teeth, shaped more like curved swords than giant fangs. Even though this kitten's famous saber teeth hadn't yet grown, its preserved body revealed fascinating clues about how it survived in a frozen landscape. Its rounded, low-set ears minimize heat loss, making it perfect for the cold. Thick fur covered its body, and its paw pads were specially adapted for walking on snow, wider and rounder than those of a modern lion cub. One of the most surprising discoveries was about its lips. Unlike many artistic portrayals showing saber-toothed cats with bared, fearsome teeth, this kitten's soft tissue suggested that Homotherium likely hid its killer canines behind thick lips keeping them concealed unless snarling or hunting. This challenges everything we thought we knew about these ancient hunters. 
The kitten's strong neck muscles hinted at powerful strength even at this young age, likely necessary for taking down large prey in the harsh Ice Age environment. This frozen feline is the first ever example of an extinct mammal, with no close living relatives preserved in such a remarkable state. It opens the door to imagining what else might still be hidden beneath the melting permafrost, waiting to be rediscovered. Among the giants and fierce predators found frozen in ice, there's a surprising group of survivors that seem almost impossible. Microscopic nematode worms, some revived after being trapped in ice for over 30,000 years. Discovered in Siberian permafrost, these tiny worms are nature's ultimate endurance champions. Measuring less than a millimeter long, they survived the harshest conditions imaginable. Complete freezing, lack of oxygen, and near total darkness. In a state of suspended animation, then scientists carefully thawed the ice and watched as these ancient creatures stirred back to life, wriggling and moving as if waking from a deep sleep. What makes these worms so extraordinary isn't just their survival, but the insight they provide into the limits of life itself. How do living beings endure millennia of frozen stasis without their cells rupturing or losing vital functions? The answer lies in a biological trick called cryptobiosis, where the nematodes effectively pause their metabolism to escape death by freezing. This discovery reshapes our understanding of life's resilience and even raises exciting possibilities for life beyond Earth. If tiny worms can survive tens of thousands of years frozen solid on our planet, could similar life forms endure on icy moons like Europa or Enceladus, where subsurface oceans lie beneath thick ice? Beyond their cosmic implications, these nematodes suggest how ecosystems may recover after extreme environmental shifts. By surviving ancient ice ages locked in ice, they could have repopulated the soil and jump-started life cycles once the climate warmed. From giant saber-toothed cats to microscopic worms, the frozen past continues to reveal nature's secrets. Stories of survival, adaptation, and the incredible tenacity of life against the odds. Deep within the frozen layers of Siberia, two extraordinary cave lion cubs named Boris and Sparta were uncovered, perfectly preserved as if time had stood still. These cubs, estimated to be about 28,000 years old, provide an intimate window into the life of prehistoric predators that roamed the Ice Age landscapes. What's truly astounding is how pristine these cubs remain. Their soft fur, delicate facial features, even the fine whiskers around their noses are still clearly visible. These details allow scientists to study their development and behaviors, shedding light on a species that vanished thousands of years ago. But beyond the scientific marvel, the discovery raises thrilling possibilities around de-extinction. Could these cubs help unlock genetic secrets to bring cave lions back from extinction? The idea may sound like science fiction, yet advances in DNA sequencing and cloning technology make it a real area of research and debate. At the same time, their discovery reminds us of the fragile balance between curiosity and caution. What impact would resurrecting an apex predator have on today's ecosystems? And what lessons do these frozen cubs teach us about survival and extinction in a rapidly changing world? Boris and Sparta are more than just ancient remains. They are ambassadors from the past, inviting us to explore mysteries long frozen beneath the ice and to think deeply about the future we want to shape. What we're uncovering in the melting permafrost isn't just ancient fossils. They are time travelers, perfectly preserved messengers from a world long gone. Each discovery opens a window into Earth's distant past, sparking excitement about the possibilities science holds, from unlocking genetic secrets to potentially bringing extinct creatures back to life. But with such incredible potential comes a serious warning. The ethical dilemmas of de-extinction, the risks of disrupting modern ecosystems, and the unknown consequences of awakening long-frozen life all demand careful consideration. These frozen relics remind us that nature's balance is delicate, and humanity's curiosity must be tempered with responsibility. So, as the ice continues to melt and reveal more secrets, we're left with a pressing question. What else still lies buried deep within the ice? And more importantly, are we truly ready for what might come back?